14 beautiful crocus varieties. Gardeners have been enjoying this pale lavender heirloom since 1847. In the early morning light, petals appear almost silvery, giving the flowers a luminous effect. Also known affectionately as Tommy's Crocus Thomasinianus is resistant to squirrels. The flowers open in the morning and close up at night, but on cloudy, rainy days, they do not open at all. This plant is called snow crocus because it is among the first crocuses to open in spring. As purred as a swatch of seersucker cloth, the 1925 heirloom Pickwick crocus is perfect for forcing in pots so you can admire the delicate stripes up close. Pickwick is considered to be one of the giant spring crocuses, blooming in early April when the first daffodils bloom. No one ever tires of the classic appeal of white flowers, but sometimes a white crocus can disappear against a background of snow. Ard Shank solves that problem with a cheerful golden heart and orange anthers. At the intersection of snow white and lemon yellow lies cream beauty. This variety is a recipient of the Royal Horticultural Society's Award of Garden Merit, meaning it has proven itself to be a reliable performer in the garden. Dedicated cooks speak of the expensive and revered saffron in hushed tones, but this coveted spice is surprisingly easy to grow in the garden. Unlike many crocus types, Crocus sativus, the saffron crocus, is a fall bloomer. Plant the bulbs in the summer, and expect to see flowers about two months later. About 25 bulbs will yield enough saffron threads for one household. Can't decide whether to choose a yellow crocus or a purple variety? Get both hues in the perky, firefly, cultivar. This Mediterranean native appreciates the sharp drainage of rock gardens, and may not perennialize in areas with clay soils. The crisp white flowers of Jeanne d'Arc look their best when naturalized in a lawn. Crocus flowers planted in lawns fare best in lawns that do not receive heavy summer irrigation, as they prefer to be on the dry side during dormancy. Zenith can mean the peak or a point in the sky above an observer. Does zenith refer to the ethereal blue of this crocus, or to the fact that it thrives in alpine climates? Either way, gardeners will agree that this recent Dutch introduction is a worthy addition to the spring garden. The shy violet, grand matra, giant crocus, blooms a bit later than many other species, allowing you to stagger and extend bloom times. On sunny days, the petals of grand matra open very wide, revealing the attractive contrasting orange stamens within. Grand matra, corms will multiply in lawns if you leave the foliage until it withers, which usually happens about six weeks after flowering. Skyline, has striated petals that resemble, pickwick, only with a blue rather than purple tinge. This crocus is not always available in the trade, but you may find it at online specialty nurseries and garden swaps. Gypsy Girl, is the yellow crocus complement to, pickwick, and, skyline. The first bees of spring will seek out these golden beacons in your garden. For best effect, plant it in naturalized drifts. An early blooming crocus chrysanthus, romance, is the perfect shade of butter yellow, without a hint of orange. Romance, is a petite variety, no more than 2 to 3 inches in height, and looks best when planted in groups of 25 or more. For easy installation, dig a hole with your spade about 3 inches deep, and plant several together about 3 inches apart for a natural look. Unusual in the crocus world is the reddish tinge on the petals of Zwanenberg Bronze, an early blooming variety. This crocus is more fragrant than most, so try it in raised beds or containers to bring the scent closer. This is one of the easiest crocuses to grow, it naturalizes very easily. Advance, is one of the earliest bloomers you'll find. By late spring plants are dormant, making it an ideal variety to plant in lawns. Plant in sunny areas, as flowers will stay closed in shady areas, as well as on cloudy days. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.